Good morning everybody, this is Jackie Hayes speaking. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator in Perth, WA. And um, today I'm going to start off with, um, hope everybody is well to and if you are out and about, please social distance because we need to get rid of this virus as quickly as possible. And social distancing is the only way we're going to do it. First of all, I've got a, a new catalogue here. If anyone would like to order a new catalogue, please let me know. Um, you can email me and that's my email address there. Um, JackieSan50 at gmail.com or you can phone me on 0422-547-461. The catalogue um, is running from the 3rd of June to the 3rd of May next year and for $5 it is excellent value. It's got not only products that you can buy but in it it's got photographs of um, cards that you can make with that one product. This one is uh, Timeless Tulips and it is in the old catalogue um well the current catalogue this one's not coming yet but you can see from that and um, these ones that there's plenty of cards to make not only cards but as you get further in this card sets that you can make um they come in a complete set usually about eight or nine eight or ten in a pack <coughs> excuse me and also um you've got the um scrapbooking pages as well in there so if you're not a card maker and you're scrapbooking this for five dollars is excellent value I always have some catalogues for sale so if you definitely want one please let me know to be the first ones to to get the catalogue when they come in I've not got them yet but they're on the way okay so now we'll get started with our card and today the challenge was to do a background and I've done this card and it's crackle paint I don't know whether you can see the there now you can see the paint on it this is a crackle paint <coughs> oh got tickling my throat today and this is a stamp set for the crackle pa paint it is one big um, stamp and I'm going to use that on my Stamparatus. I've also done um, a label, label me bold and that's this piece here and it comes in quite a few sayings in that label me bold. I've for the inside piece as well I've done the, a few flowers and I want I only wanted tiny ones so I've used path of petals I've not used this very much it is one of those that I do like and I do like the saying um, from this one and but I've not got the saying in that one for some reason what did oh I liked the saying better for this one, so, sentiment, so sentimental. And that's the, that's the inside bit of this, so sentimental. And it's uh, wishing you much happiness today and always. They all come as um, either cling or um, photopolymer. And then last week, I did a card with the tropical, uh, timeless tropical 
and I'm I like if people buy um, buy a stamp set from me I like to show them that they can use it on more than one card and this is the one that we did before I'll just mm -hmm. This is a card we did last week with from the to tropical uh, timeless tropical. So this week then I'm going to use the big frangipani and also these leaves which I didn't use before because I used this and the palm trees on the on the last week's one. Now we get start, we'll get started. I am using Rococo Rose and and I've cut it at ten and a half and it that's a full sheet of um Rococo Rose A4 and what I've done is cut it straight down the middle at ten and a half. I'm, I've got two pieces of whisper white and they are the normal size that I normally cut 10 um, sorry 14 and a half by 10 I've got then um, shimmer shimmer card and this is nine and a half by 14 and the shimmer really does sparkle on this when you put this um, don't know whether you can see the sparkle on that or not. It's not going to show up the light on it, but it does sparkle both sides. It's not just one side of it. I've pre-cut this piece because the, the, the label I'm using is Ornate Dyes and I've used use that one for the outside which is that shape and for the inside on white which I haven't cut yet because I'm going to stamp that first and that's that that shape and it makes the fancy fancy um, dive for sticks for standing up the the, the um, flower and the flower and the leaves are from the tropical dyes and we used this one last week for the pineapple and the pineapple um, top and also aloha so that's using this one twice they they come as a bundle and so does ornate ornate frames that comes as a bundle with ornate thanks so if you buy a bundle you can save 10 percent on on the bundles it's worth getting those right now i'm going to fold this one is called a um easel fold and I'll show you how to do that because it is so simple to do it and with your long piece of card just move that out of the way for a second so I don't lose them fold it in half and use the bone folder to get a neat neat edge then fold it back on itself to the center this this side is going to be folded back to the center use the bone folder again so there's your starter for your card that's as simple as that you don't really need to do anything else with that we're going to concentrate on the the other pieces of card now and we're going to do the crackle I'll just move that on one side we're going to do the crackle paint first the cracked paint first 
and that is on the shimmer and I'm do doing it on my stamparatus because if it doesn't come out quite as well as I want it to do I can re-stamp it I've got the um, silicon mat underneath because it needs to be really firm when you're stamping it I won't put this right on the corner because I want it to do right on the the edges of this uh, move it down just a fraction and I can't because it's so big I can't put my magnet on it but I'm going to just powder marvellous never folds never shuts up when I want it to shut up and when I don't it does right dust it over this is an embossing buddy and it just takes the static off the card and this mark is the ink that you're going to use always put something underneath your plate on your stamparatus because you don't want the you don't want this piece bending back too far um, it will just break them off and then you end up having to buy new plates and keep keep going until you think it's all covered and I think that should be enough. Fetch that over. Just move my magnet out of the way a bit. And press down as hard as possible. And keep pressing until you think every bit of it is covered. That should be enough. That looks good. I'm quite happy with that. Be careful as you take it out because you don't want to be smudging that. Now I'll just move them. I'll just wipe that over so it's not. Um, not sticky. Because this mark is very sticky. And that's the chamois that I'm using. It's a disgrace, I know, but it's it's a worth buying that one. Finished with that one. So then I've got clear embossing powder and always always like clear embossing powder because it really blends itself to a lot of things it doesn't cover up everything I've got my embossing powder in a tub so it makes it easier to, to actually cover your your card and just sprinkle that way then you haven't got to mess about with papers I have put paper down because my paper underneath is a little bit on the large side for doing this but sometimes I don't need to extra card extra paper just make sure I've got it all with it being a, a long one you don't want to be touching the sides it just fetches off the embossing powder I think that's about it yep I'll fasten that up and I'm going to fetch in my heat tool and my husband comes up with some really good ideas I got this it made me a board and all I have to do then is change the um, 
tin foil on it and a couple of clips and that way then you don't you can't see it because of the tin foil but you don't burn your fingers I will try and keep talking while I'm doing this it should have heated me gun up first but as you're putting the heat on it you can see that the embossing powder is melting and it melts into the Versamark that gives you the the coverage that you want gives you the if you're doing a flower you can see the flower taking shape on your card two more places that it's not covered but shouldn't take too long. Some demonstrators when they're demonstrating this turn their video off and restart it but I'm sorry but I just don't trust turning it off as I probably will have to start all over again if I did that when when the uh, heat has gone on this you can see the shine on it so that you know that it's all all embossed this heat tool has got two settings a slow speed uh, and a fast speed. I've used it on a fast speed so it'll do it a lot better, a lot quicker. Uh, I can feel that there is no powder going to come off of that so I know it's all complete. Oops, I've lost my card. The next step is I I just want to I'm going to take a water pen and the inks I'm using today is um, Old Olive which is a really old one I've had that one for years and then Rococo Rose if you squeeze this so that it's in the lid it's not quite enough they're not as easy as the old ones to to squeeze that's better and I don't want the, the green on that so I'm going to just splash some water out of my water pen onto my card first and now I've got and then, then I'm going to just put some more water on on this and spread then you'll be able to see that the colouring is actually fetching the pattern it's not very clear today I don't know what's up with it it's actually fetching the pattern Oh, there pattern out of it my granddaughters were here at the weekend and I think they've been changing my machine that holds everything together Just leave it at that and just put a little bit more on the, the lighter bits. And fold that one up out of the way for the time being. So 
so there you can just see the colouring and the crackle part of that. I should have a, oh, it's fairly dry. I will just dry that again, just to dry the, the water off, turn it over so it's flattened. Now it's dry. And for the next bit then, we're going to have to do some um, stamping and cutting out, some cutting out, but I've got my big shot. So these are dies that we're going to cut out and stamping in the middle. That one can be set on one side for the moment. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I'll just put this onto this card. I have raised this up, so I'm using dimensionals. Put that on first. And to make sure it does stick on your your card just make sure you've got plenty of dimensionals on you don't want it if you're going to post it to somebody you don't want it to come off in the post take my picker tool pick me up tool take these off want to come off. So, decide which way you're going to put it. There's not really much, dif much difference in them. So there. That is the first piece done. And when you then take this bit, you don't, normally we would take the back of this, but you don't, you take the back, you take this bit of your card. We'll put that on one side for a second and concentrate on these pieces that I've got here. And this is the larger of the, I think it's frangipani, magnolia, I'm not sure which. I never know. I'm not, I'm not into flowers really. And this is um, memento black that I'm using. Because we're going to do the blends, you need to to have memento black because that way then your colour your black on the outside will not bleed and I'm going to just stamp two leaves could have got two at the side of each other but that's fine move that out of the way and clean these off clean things off as I'm going and then you don't get anything onto your card any marks on your card while you is sorting it out because it's very easy when you put things down you end up with a blob on your card that you don't
don't want and you've got to put something on the um, to hide it right I'll fetch in the big shot now which is here I have to get up to do it thank goodness Oops. and I'm using the magnetic plate The, um, the leaf and the big die are there and just make sure I've got the, the die in the right position which I have which is good and then put this piece on the leaf the top plate and I've got a, a, the magnetic sheet a bottom plate and a top plate for this I'm sorry if it moves the I pull my iPad back up because it's slipping down I did say that my granddaughters had been in messing about they always alter everything see if I can secure it a little bit more sorry about this right now got um, That piece is already cut out. That's set that on one side, and I just need to do another leaf, and that one's cut out. Ready? one is ready to go as well so that's two leaves smooth that so I don't lose that Put big shot out of my way so I can work got um, I've got Old Olive Blends, Light and Dark, and Rococo Rose, Light and Dark. And for the stamen, I've got Mango Melody. So I'll start off with the, the flower first. And just lightly brush, brush the dark into the, into the, middle from the middle outwards you don't have to press on with these blends because they are alcohol based and the brush is is really flexible and fine it's there is two parts there's a bullet a bullet part which is on the other end if you wanted to do some really fine work but with this flower everything sort of blends in I don't want to do that middle bit because that is a stamen right I've got the darker one now I'm going to take the lighter blend and with when you're doing the blending in use circles it blends in a lot better if you circle your, your 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 pen and then you can see from that that it is blending in quite nicely and you've got the dark and the light I'll just hold that up and there you can see 
this is the dark that I put on but there is no line visible for it it's just it's just blended in um, naturally keep going and keep going do find this very therapeutic at the moment. I always did like drawing and colouring in. So this is my therapy. Though I'm not struggling to stay inside, I don't mind. I know a lot of you ladies out there are really struggling and don't like to be in the, the confines of your house all the time. <coughs> Excuse me. So I think that one is okay. If you find you've not done enough, you can always go over it a little bit once it's, because it's nearly dry. In fact, it is dry now. Oh dear. But make sure when you've done this, always put your top straight back on and you will hear them click. Um, they come in a pack of two and they are 15 75 plus postage, which for the type of pen they are, um, oops, it, it's not too bad. That that's the flower finished. Apart from putting Winker Stella on, which I will do um, in a moment. I'm going to use the bullet end of this to do the the leaf because I don't want it really thick on the leaf markings do this one as well and you'll find that once you've done this dark a bit the, the veins on the leaf will then stand out without being overpowering I've then taken the the brush end of the lighter blend and keep going round in a circle and that way then you can see that it is all blending in together. Oops, can't get hold of it. I think 